It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time of the year, 1221. And the most wonderful time of the year around here is when Tony Jones gives us his predictions about Indeed. what's going to be happening in religion in the coming year. So we're going to hear about uh, these news stories, and we're going to hear his, his, his predictions for what's going to happen in this, in this segment. And Tony's going to give us three, and because we wanted to have five, I'm going to give you mine. Mm -hmm. And the sidekick, a.k.a. in his own mind, the co-host, is going to give you his prediction. Sure. All right. But but let, uh, you want to so circle back to these stories? I mean, I, 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 in the top ten stories, I'll tell you one that, I, you know, maybe it's not politically correct for it to really bug me, but it re because it's not really it, – the fact that there's no Protestant on the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. it actually does bother me. Hmm. And, and, Why so? And, and it's, it's funny because I don't overly um, – I don't overly relate to Protestantism as my tribe, yeah. but I do think that diversity on the highest court in the land is really valuable. And I do think, because I've studied a lot of philosophy, that in general, there's a different legal philosophy in Catholic legal scholars than there is among Protestants. Yeah, and the problem isn't just that there's no Protestant. I, in my mind, if you don't know, folks, about this, that the, 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 the nine members of the Supreme Court are all Catholic. Well, no, it's like seven Catholics and two Jews. And two Jews. Yeah. So what, you're, what you don't, it's not just that you don't have any Protestants, it's that you have seven who are part of the same tradition. Right. It's, it, it, it's not just who's missing, it's there's too much similarity. I find that, I actually find that really problematic when it, comes to, when it comes to legal theory and legal reasoning. Right. Um, because well, he, and what I'm getting at is you're not saying, hey, where are the Protestants? We need Protestants. You're saying these people are all the same, well, and that doesn't represent the country very well. Right. Like there is a there is a there is a very robust form of legal scholarship and thinking that ha goes back to Thomas Aquinas, and that most Catholic law schools teach, and that's very well represented right now on on the uh, Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. But the more um, the the rich tradition of Protestant legal theory yeah. is not, you know, it's just it's not represented on the Supreme Court right now. And I think that the Supreme Court should be in some ways reflective of our society. Mm -hmm. But there's so many other things about where these Supreme Court justices come from that are also disturbing about their lack of diversity, that, right. they, all, that they all come from a, the same education oh, yeah system. like over half of them went to Yale Law School I yeah mean, uh, of all the law school there there are other great law schools in right. the country but it you do start to think is this a bit of a it, yeah boys club you and know? you think what a change that is so it's sitting in the studio right behind your shoulder is a a picture of President Kennedy right that's up here in the studio so here in the studio the, and it reminds me that at, at the time in the middle 60s late 50s and early 60s the idea that you could have a Catholic president was seen as scandalous yeah or or, or a Catholic Supreme Court justice Supre just and a now, couple decades before that and now seven out of nine are Catholic you wouldn't right. think, a, you, and, and yeah. people don't don't really think th that is an indication of the change, both in the Protestant Catholic divide in this country, which in that sense is a good thing, right? When you're thinking about culturally, yeah. To me, that's that 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 is that is um, a sign that things have gotten better. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad. I'm glad Catholics aren't stigmatized anymore. Right. Um, that their allegiance might be to the Pope instead of the. Right. And, but, but. My goodness! I mean, yeah, you're right. It, it's, it, I it's just would like to see that, and and um, let me let me highlight one other story, and it'll lead me into my first prediction, and that is the bankruptcy of the Crystal Cathedral, which um, is more emblematic of the change in the religious landscape and how that's affected by the economy. So uh, here's my first prediction, because I think that was a really big deal that the the Crystal Cathedral declared bankruptcy. I think that... Well, talk about why you think that was a big deal. Well, because the Crystal Cathedral, my gosh, I mean... If people don't know, the Crystal Cathedral is a big church. Yeah, it's the first megachurch. The big megachurch was around for a long time, big charismatic leader, television programs, the whole deal. They had it all going on for them. Yeah, and it's in Orange County, and, and, the, and the transition from father to son didn't go well. Mm -hmm. And son was removed after less than two years as the new senior pastor, mm -hmm. and dad was brought back in, and the board of directors, and this and that. And it all was about 
money. They say it was about vision or et cetera, et cetera. But it really was all about money because uh, when, I mean, it was really a, a personality driven ministry. Mm-hmm. And um, boy, he, you know, Sonny Jr. just couldn't, couldn't pay the bills yeah. like dad could. And, and the massive infrastructure of that church was too much for them to pay for. It's so just too too big of an industry. Too big. Yeah. So here's prediction number one. I think that a significant American denomination will declare bankruptcy in oh, 2011. Big big news. Mm. Breaking big news. Now I don't know that it'll be the United Methodist Church or the Presbyterian Church. It might be USA, a small little one, but but it might be the, the it might be a, a, a the next tier down. But a. a for for people who a are known of denomination, yeah, will for the people bankruptcy. who are in the religion business, like the three of us, it'll be a denomination that when the name is said, you'll say like, "Oh, I know where that headquarters yeah. is." I've, I've I met, know people who are I one know, of those. I know somebody who works yeah. there. Yeah, I know people. I, I think that one not well, they won't go out of business, but I think one of them might have to declare bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bankruptcy protection. Yeah. Okay, Tony declaring that denominations are going to be filing bankruptcy. Prediction number two. This is my weakest prediction. The cap- no, I got three. I know, I know. When, when did we get to say ours? So, so, well, right, right when he's done. I, I had to do something with Catholicism. Okay. I think that there will be, the, the Catholic Church will make some doctrinal change this year. They oh, will, my. They will announce that they're changing some doctrine or some position, and that'll make some news. I don't know what it'll be because I'm not in that world that much. Doctrinal change in the Catholic Church. Number th- Prediction number three. Billy Graham will die. Oh, jeepers. You are just a gloomy <laughs> Gus. Billy, <laughs> Gra- Billy Graham. No, I think Billy Graham will pass away, and that that will be an en- enormous news story. And here's what's you funny. Are, you will be blamed on this program the day that that news okay. breaks. Okay, I, I, I don't know if we're doing the dead. All right, we're dead down pool. to two minutes. So. Okay, but let me just say that I was at the Dallas Morning News headquarters, yes. and I saw the file where they keep the files for all the people who are about to die. Yeah for the obituary yeah. and there's a big old thick file <laughs> Billy Graham was right in the front right in the and that's front. what made me think He's ready this to might go. be his year and that's going to provoke a lot of conversation about who's America's pastor now. All right, bankruptcy yeah. for denominations. The Catholic Church is going to make a doctrinal adjustment and Billy Graham won't be with us in 2012 according to Tony Jones. Yeah. Sidekick, what's your prediction? Um, I think it's the rise of the small church. You've seen a big emphasis on um, on house churches in the past and you know obviously a lot of emphasis uh, for those who are in this business on how to grow your church and how to, to become a big, successful church. I think you're going to see a lot more churches under 100 that are going to, um, uh, I don't know, just gain favor and have a lot of spotlight. And my prediction <clears throat> is that in 2010, 2011, this song will become part of the worship <laughs> background for churches in the charismatic movement. Rah, rah, ah, ah, Roma. I got a lot of charismatic churches already sound a lot like that, but that one, the Lady Gaga, is going to become part of no the interpretation. Is going to become part of the, uh, the the worship set in your charismatic churches. So there it is. Those are our predictions for next year. You can stick with us for a whole other year, and we will let you know at the end of the—oh, actually, if any of those were to happen throughout the course of the year, we'd be bragging about it nonstop. So you can listen to the program as we go. Natural health coach Shelly Padgett has just walked into the studio. She is geared up with her fourth piece of advice for a natural health life. So stick around for for natural health coach Shelly Padgett. Tony Jones, thank you for your predictions. And we'll be back here after this break on AM 950, The Voice of Minnesota. Look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Angela here for Zero Res. I'm expecting a lot of Pete and Paws to be walking across my carpet this month, but I don't.